Now we want to welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, the incredibly talented and beautiful Francesca Zapatelli. Hello and welcome to the show. Hello. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Let me introduce you to everybody, starting off with my cool, outrageous man about town co-host, Mr. Ron Russell. Ma, hey, Ron. Co ma come se bella. Se proprio bellissimo. Ah, bueno, una donna, bueno. una, una donna così elegante e bella. Grazie. E <laughs> parli italiano? No, I do not. I'm going to kill you. Di mazzo. Di mazzo. I don't give a shit about Spanish. You're Italian. Why aren't you speaking Italian? I'm going to kill oh, you. I know. It's a sin. Okay, I promise you I'm going to get Rosetta Stone and I'm going to learn. <laughs> it's a Italian is such a beautiful language. When you know to speak it well, not the cafon Italian, you know, those when they say, uh, you know, the, when they slaughter the Italian language. But if you speak pure Italian, it's a beautiful language. As beautiful as you are because you're a beautiful Italian girl. Thank you so much. Oh, just because I'm Italian, don't think I'm saying this. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on, we got to keep I'm introducing 100% Italian, cento per cento Italiano. And there's nothing wow. in my, nothing in our family but Guineas. We go way back to Christopher Columbus. Where's your so, family from? Genoa. Okay. And Christopher Columbus, my father always said that Columbus was a distant cousin because my father was born three houses down from where Christopher Columbus was born, of course, hundreds of years before my father. So I thought, I thought maybe my great, 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 great grandfather banged Columbus's mother, mother, and that's how come Columbus is our cousin. I don't know. It's a possibility. I, I don't I, have Italian I don't I don't royalty know. like that. But my grandma immigrated from Roma. Roma, bella, bella città, Roma. Hold on, we got to introduce have everybody. Have you been to Rome? I have not, unfortunately. Oh, come on. What's wrong I with know, you? I know, I <laughs> know. I mean, you're, you're, you're missing all of it. Go to Rome. The guys will go crazy for you. Oh, my God, you'll have a good time. You'll have 10 men following you all over Rome. I don't think oh, she needs them. I don't think she needs them. <laughs> No, when I was 16, I went to Rome, and I had 10 guys following me. <laughs> she that might not know. We're actually married. We're like a ma right. ma we're a married couple. So, so uh, in case you did, because I don't know if you knew that, and I don't know what they told you at, with October Coast, but we're actually married. Yeah, sometimes oh, it turns beautiful. off. Sometimes it turns off our guests, and they say, "I'm not going on a show with fairies." <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, she loves everybody. So, yeah, we got to introduce you to everybody. First, we've got the man behind the boards, Mr. Chad Murphy. Hello, beautiful lady. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. We have a chat room full of people, so say uh, hello to everybody in the chat room. Hello, everybody in the chat room. Thank you for joining us. There you go. So, you, everybody, listen up. First of all, um, you have to follow me on Twitter, or I'll be upset. So, you guys want to follow Francesca mm -hmm. on Twitter? It's Francesca Zappit, Z A P P I T F R A N C E S C A Zappit. Zappit. And. Uh, 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 zap it. Uh, uh, zappa. Well, no, it's it. Well, it doesn't matter because nobody's going to be able to find it that way. It's Zap it is how she. No, that. Uh, zap it her is Twitter. A... But that's her Twitter handle, not her name. That's her Twitter handle. It's short for Zappatelli. I yes. tried to do Zappatelli, but they wouldn't allow me. Yeah, you don't have 15 and... characters. Zap it. <laughs> well, exactly. So, Zap it. You should put a hyphen between it. <laughs> no, you can't. Zappatelli. <laughs> zappa. And then hyphen telly. Yeah, but they don't let you. Only 14 letters. Or 14 I don't care letters. for them. Who is this that does this? Twitter. Oh, frig Twitter. <laughs> I you never like that. Twitter. Twitter in my last name. And, and Twitter. you guys, and then her, her website. Well, so it, I saw Francesca Zapatelli.com, but it actually takes you to ballerina I'm not.com. So I thought maybe that's just a better one to promote is ballerina I'm not.com. For sure. And Francesca Zapatelli, I'm rebooting it. For the relaunch, um, right now it directs you to ballerina. I'm not dot com. So yeah, okay. Or. Okay, so everybody. It's almost like I feel you've been on our show before that I know you. Who does she remind us of that hair that way was Italian? Remember no, some beautiful know. girl too. We have a lot of beautiful. No, girls, but this but... one was. I Anyway, anyway, because let's people like we have to let people know who she is and what she does. <laughs> so she's a, an actress, a writer, a producer. Uh, oh, and. Director. 
director and 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 basically though what got got my uh goat is they as your publicist sent me all these like pictures of how gorgeous you are and you looked so gorgeous and then i find out that well, you're she's italian what a, do you want and that she's a professional wrestler and mma that I person can't, that who I beats can't the believe. shit out of people and she and then that... you go online and google her name and watch the youtube videos of her beating the shit out of people and you're no. like oh my god coolest thing ever no, I, I, I want to tell you something i never research a guest and i said to jimmy earlier who we have on he said a woman wrestler and what came to mind was when i was flying from la to new york seated next to me was that fabulous weightlifter who i thought was a lesbian but she wasn't the one that died that i love her the one china. That, yeah, i forgot her china name. China, china china, yes. china. China, China had arms big. I mean, she was like a man. And I couldn't figure out, was she a man, a lesbian, a fairy? What the hell was she? And in talking to her, I found out she was a woman, a straight woman. And that's my idea of what a wrestler looks like, not you. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the reason why, one of the reasons I wanted to make the documentary, because female wrestlers and female fighters aren't your stereotypical cookie don't cutter. You have, don't you have to have muscles? I have muscles. Where? Yeah, on your chest, but not on your arms. Oh, I'm going to come and body slam you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I bet you a lot of guys want to wrestle with you, right? I kick butt. I'm much stronger than I look. And watch the documentary, and you'll see a bunch of women that don't look like your China. wrestlers, and they are strong and powerful and empowered and kick butt. Okay, well, first of all, I have to say, because like, I looked at pictures of you kind of when you started, because you were a wrestler for like 10 years or something, right? That's Got correct. It. Okay, and, and she's not just wrestler. She did MMA, What's which that? is like those, those those cage fights. Well, we're, in the, we're in the cages, you know, where you see the guy. You always He doesn't like that, so he turns it off. I, I hate violence. <laughs> I hate violence. Of he doesn't watch violent movies. He doesn't watch so, violent anything. Did they ever break your nose or smash in the face or get scarred or bleeding? I've been lucky. I just had a leg injury, although unfortunately I've broken other people's noses and knocked out teeth. And each time I felt horribly. And I pursued MMM training. I did um, jiu-jitsu tournaments, um, a few amateur fights, as well as mission wrestling. But I never took it to the next level because at the end of the day, I don't have what it takes to be a UFC fighter because I don't like getting punched in the face. No, yeah, I wouldn't no don't you ever hurt that beautiful face. Your mother will kill you. And I what feel bad your, for What does your mother think of this? Uh, my parents aren't in my life. However, my grandma's like my mother. And she's really accepting and supportive. I love it. If you were my daughter, I would say not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my daughter hurt. God forbid they twist her neck or they break her neck or they break so her arm. So basically, hold on. I want to make sure I understand Scary so everybody shit. understands. Because there's a lot of people I'm sure. I mean, wrestling is very popular. So so basically, you were a professional wrestler, but the MMA, you didn't go all the way with the MMA. But you did in wrestling because you were a part of the, I don't know what you call it, ECW or the, the what do you call I it? I was under development with the WWE. Okay. And I found that organization, well, let's just say it had a little too many Harvey Weinsteins in it. Yeah, I believe that. And oh, he's a nice guy. Don't make don't talk bad. <laughs> I, I know Harvey from 40 years ago in LA. Harvey is a regular guy. He just likes pussy. Uh, you know? uh, and, yeah. Did you see his wife? His wife is so beautiful. Oh, oh my God. Gorgeous. Yeah, but you want to know the truth? Yeah. You know how many young actresses throw themselves at men like that to get a part in a movie? Please. It's not all the men's fault. Like Trump, when he grabbed Snatch, those broads were looking to have their Snatches grabbed. Oh, I mean, my daughters, my daughters would have beat the shit out of him if he grabbed their, <laughs> their Snatches. So would she. Uh, you, you'd <laughs> kill him. You'd, 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 and I'm you'd like, grab him. I love it. You would grab him by the dick and Harvey spin him around. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to talk about Harvey Weinstein. Harvey on didn't do anything <laughs> bad, everybody. He's just another filthy man. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying men can help themselves? No, they can't. Men are degenerates. Trust me. Gay men worse than straight men. Gay, <laughs> men. gay men will do anything to each other, anywhere, at any time, and they don't care. I you bet, though. Sexuality, huh? that's a part of us. However, I would like to think that humans have the intelligence and evolution to know when to constrain themselves. Yeah, and but absolutely. The fine line of professionalism, when you're at work, keep it in your pants. Hey, after work, you're out drinking, you want to hit on a broad, hit on a broad. But there's the time and place for everything. I well, agree, 100%. A, a lot of gay men would do each other in Macy's window if they had the opportunity. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hang on, let's go. I don't want to have this conversation. I want to go back. Oh, actually, somebody in the – okay, so you were a wrestler, though, under the tr training of it. You were there for a while because uh, I've seen, like, pictures and videos of you. Like, it's really amazing. First of all, I loved it when you had, like, the short, white, spiked, like, mohawky-looking hair or whatever with the spikes. I was like, oh, no, my God. No, I like her this way. I she's... know, but now well, now she's grown up and she's changed. She's but, like, when she she's started out – But now. you looked – I mean, when you had the white, blonde hair, you looked like you could really fuck people up and hurt them bad. No, like, then she would look like a dyke. No, she didn't look like a dyke. She just looked bad. You look yeah. like Lori Petty. You like Lori Petty. I was looking like a dyke. Nothing. Nothing's wrong with. No, you're like too beautiful but as a girl. Right now, you could be like a lipstick lesbian. We'll talk right. <laughs> I, I bet. I bet if you play opposite the lesbians, they love when you get them in a headlock. <laughs> Oh, they, don't get me started. They, Actually, they're they asking, stay in that headlock right. for hours. They're, as, they're asking us in the chat room, is is wrestling real? Which I don't think wrestling is real. No, it's or, not real. But, but I know, but, what you, but you're actually a wrestler, so tell us, like, how real is it? It's re Define or, real and what in life truly is real. In wrestling, you're fighting. You're doing real fight moves. You're doing choreography. Yep. You're doing acrobats. That's real. And from doing MMA and wrestling, the wrestling moves actually are more uh, dangerous and physically uh, draining than, than oh. actual MMA. So is, is wrestling real? Yeah, the moves are real. Now, is the winner called beforehand? Yeah. Okay. So people think maybe in boxing it's called beforehand too. Yeah, so like in so it's like, rea any, like all reality TV basically. Like yeah. They and they now, now it what's gonna they what's gonna happen to you twenty years from now? She's not a wrestler anymore. I know, but what? How are you gonna make money? What are you she's gonna do? She's an actress, and she's a director, and she's a producer, and she's a I'm writer. A I, I, yeah. I, I'm I'm an actor. I'm a producer. I'm a director, and I'm out of work. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, no, because that's why she's coming on. She has a new. First of all, she's produced a lot of stuff because you produced some film that had like Jennifer Aniston and all these like huge people in it. Uh, yeah, uh, I, 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 and it was. Uh, official selection for TIFF, which I was really proud of because I'm an Italian born in Canada, hence why. Okay, we'll, for, we'll forgive the Canadian part. And then you have another film that you're acting in called Spreading Darkness, which has also big people, Dominique Swain, Robert Dobby, who's been on our show, James Duvall, who's been on our show, John Savage, Eric Roberts. So she's an actress. She's a director. She's a writer, and she wrote this documentary called Ballerina I'm Not, and it's about her life as a wrestler, right? Or you and women, other women. I use my journey in wrestling as a through line, but I also explore the history of female wrestling and fighting, which is truly remarkable. Women weren't even allowed to fight alongside men back in the 50s. And oh, wrestling was big. Well, but men, women weren't allowed to wrestle. And now, where we are present day, women are not only allowed to wrestle, but they're like the main event in WWE and UFC. And they're the top paying performers. And in today's age, it's nice to celebrate the progress that we have achieved. The reason that women were not allowed to do anything in the 50s was, and I'm going to say something that's going to shock everybody, and my, my mother would say this and a lot of women, women have their periods, and they can't do anything but sit in bed when they have their periods. They can't even take a bath or a shower. They yeah. can't go, they, wait, they can't go in the ocean. And I used to listen to this. I said, those poor broads, they got their period for a week and they can't do jack shit. <laughs> Then they invented the tampon, which they put two up, you know, tie one to the other, shove it up. You could do anything. So God bless the tampon. But years ago, women could not wrestle because they got their periods. He's talking about in the 50s and in 60s. In the 50s. And... That's the mentality. Didn't However, they... you know, they wrestled anyways. And one of the women I talk about is Mildred Burke. And in the 1930s, she would wrestle men in the bar and challenge them. And she was the first woman to become a millionaire in the wrestling world. And she went against what was you know, appropriate against the normal and really was a trailblazer in the industry, period and all. And I would, you know, say that men have a man period too. Just saying. No, but <laughs> I, I, actually, actually, athletic women who are extremely athletic do not get their periods anymore. Somehow it stops. If you're like a gym, because my daughter was a gymnast, you know, and she heard that from somebody, one of the girls said, you know, if you keep this up, you won't get your period. So my daughter never left the bar. She kept spinning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back, though, because I think this is very interesting. So basically, like, you did this documentary. Um, it, 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 t it takes about your life of, like, your your journey or whatever. through. But you also talk about, like, all you, you bring up all the other, like, other women wrestlers or the sport, I guess, in general, right? Uh, the history of the sport, uh, various 
avenues and opportunities within the sport other than WWE, as well as some amazing women I met along the way. I'm not sure if you watched Netflix Glow. No, oh, but I uh, know, but I'm actually uh, friends with like a lot of the women because we have a friend, um, Joya Bruna, who's in Expose, the singing group, and she went on a cruise, and it was the women of Glow and Joya Bruna from Expose, right. and there was this big cruise we were going to go on, and all the women from Glow were on it. So I'm familiar who they are and everything. Uh, I have to say I'm not a big wrestling, like male or female. It's not like something. When I was a little kid, I would like you know watch Andre the Giant and stuff, but like like as an adult it's not something that i follow but i find it fascinating and i googled your documentary to see what people were saying cuz you know we get i don't know a couple of hundred people a week trying to come on the show and you have to have a very good publicist by the way october coast they're really good um well uh, she's good but she's but like but when i googled before i said yes i googled your documentary and and it really has gotten some phenomenal like reviews People talking about it and like, and they're saying, you know, nobody knows any of this stuff. Nobody knows any of this stuff because nobody's really come out and said it. So you're like the first one to really, you know, come out and really talk about it and make it public for everybody to see it. And I, and, and just because of that, I found it to be incredibly like interesting. And that's why I was like, oh, she'll be a, a fun guest and let's bring her on. Um, so I think it's now, like a really cool thing. And we want to yeah. play the, we're going to play the trailer so everybody okay, can just see one, it. One, one more question. If a man is a hairdresser, he's immediately considered gay. If a woman is a wrestler, is she also immediately considered a lesbian? I wish people would quit jumping to conclusions and stereotypes. Just exactly. because someone's a wrestler or someone's a hairdresser, that does not define them. And who cares if someone's gay or not? I Good think people you. need to be thinking about more important things. Good I, for I you. Agree. What an answer. I love you. I could kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> Big kiss for that so, answer. So, Chad, do you have Best the, answer Chad, ever. do you have the uh, trailer? Hi, Captain. It's a short trailer. So, here what I want you to do, Francesca. You actually introduced the trailer. We're going to play it. It goes quick, uh, and then we'll come back and talk some more. Which trailer do you have? I have one driven on my storyline, then I have a longer one more about the entire film. It's a, sh it's a short one. I don't one. want to see anything that they hurt her. No, it's a, sh it's a very okay. short okay. one. It's a, it's a short one, and your publicist sent it. Nothing where I she like gets hurt. Do. Ballerina, I'm not. This is the underdog, underground story of the world of female wrestling. This is Rocky with boobs. Check it out. The first time I saw a professional wrestling match, I knew I had to become one. Fighting is for men not for women. That was our understanding. I had no idea that following my dreams would have so many obstacles. a fight. I fight back. All right, there you go. Looks good. I love it, you guys. So that's Ballerina I'm Not. Um, you can find out more information by going to ballerinaimnot.com. So, like, is this available for the whole world to see yet? It'll be available in America next week on Amazon. There you go. It'll You've got America. somebody. Let me tell you, the opening of this documentary, you're standing in that pink whatever. What a figure you've got. Is that you doing the body button? That's you doing the body building at the beginning? Did you ever yeah. think of doing Playboy without being naked? Doing a, so, a, a, a so, uh, with that body and what you do would make a, a fabulous. Hey, stupid people over at Playboy, Playgirl, whatever one it is, uh, <laughs> contact this guy. She's got an interesting everything. Every man's fantasy. So it'll be wait, wait, wait. Every man's fantasy happens to be balling a wrestler woman because of the, the way they can get in all these contorted positions. Men love positions, you know. Okay, let's They spend their whole life <laughs> fantasizing about positions. Like you standing on your head with your legs open, spinning around wow. with an American flag hey, up your ass. Hey, that's, that's what they what want. That's what he said. Salute. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's what men think, straight men. So, so again, you guys, it's Ballerina I'm Not, and you can follow Francesca at Francesca Zappit, Z-A-P-P-I-T, on Twitter. And um, Okay, so tell us, 
tell us something else. What do you want to know, Ron? I want to know. Is she coming back? Are you coming back on our show? <laughs> I, I want you back. back. I'm inviting you right now. Right, we're booked now for like months, but as soon as we start the new booking, we want you back uh, on. She'll, she'll have new movies coming out. She does yeah. all kinds. She'll of have cool all things. kinds of new stuff because you're wonderful. I love you, and you're Italian. Thank you. I love you too, guys. But, well, let's schedule it. I have a short film that I'm in pre-pro for that I'm uh, really excited. How about. we're up? We're, we're done till like January, the new year, and then we're in Palm Springs for three months. So Wait, where are you? Where are you right now? I'm in Burbank. Burbank. Oh well, when we're out in California, we'll contact you, and maybe oh, we'll have. Thank you. I would oh. love. We'll do Actually, it. We'll do on. it in-house. In, in, in the chat, in the chat room, they want to know if the the documentary is coming out in Europe because we have a lot of people from Germany and Australia, all over the world, England. It will be getting a worldwide release, but not till the new year. Not till the new year, B. So it won't come out in in till the new year for Germany. Um, but you will get to see it again, you guys. It's ballerina. I'm Wait, not dot com. I, I gotta so, ask Francesca another question. Francesca. We have time. We have how, 10 minutes. How? I mean, I know I lift cartons, and for three <laughs> days I can't move. My muscles hurt. How do you survive those flips and punches and beatings? What do you like after a, a show? I mean, after an, an event? You, you must... really are beat up. Like I was saying, professional wrestling may be scripted. However, it's those moves are real. I script. How yes. do you, what, yeah. what do you use? Being gay? Pardon? You, you use Ben Gay on your body or Gay Ben, whichever way? No, I don't, but I, I take L-glutamine for muscle recovery. I take ice what, 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 ta what do you take? L-glutamine. The hell is that? It's an amino acid that helps with muscle recovery. See, we got to get that, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. We just moved 140 cartons out of storage into our home. 140 cartons heavy. We worked on it for like four days. Jimmy and I were crippled. <laughs> I bet. Oh, also, though, man. she's like 25 years old, and we're like, you know, old. We're old compared to her. Yeah, when I was her. Yeah, but if I, <laughs> if she flipped you around the way she flips those other, I would be around, dead. You would never be here. It would be the Ron Russell show. I'm going to be 53 dead. on Sunday, and uh, uh, do no, you have don't any, say my age. No, ask her. Let's see if she, do you have any idea how old he is, because he's older than he looks. She knows. I don't know. She doesn't know. Yeah, she's going to lie and be, say 30. <laughs> you know what? I would say 40. Because speaking with you, you have a very young and sassy personality, and I believe you're as old as you feel, and I, he's pretty young. I, I feel 40, I look 40, but I'm 77. I'll be yep. 78 in May. I'm older. I'm as old as dirt. Well, actually, I'm <laughs> older than dirt. But don't say that. Well, congratulations and that's happy birthday. Bit, that's because it's good Italian food. We uh, Italians right? eat like it's the olive oil. It just keeps mm -hmm. us greasy and young. We never, we never crack. Look at you. You look like a babe. How old are you anyway? Do you want to tell? I'm 35. Now go away. And she has a son, so she's and already And you had look children. like you're 23, 24. Do you, you have a son? Look... Am, I right? yeah. am, I, am I right that you have a son? I have a son, yes. Okay, I saw the picture on and Twitter. And you have beautiful teeth. <laughs> Thank you. Teeth are, so... very, no, teeth are important. If you have beautiful white teeth, you'll look young. Teeth give age away. Some people, they have like corn cobs, you know, when they smile. They mm -hmm. look like donkeys, you know, donkey's teeth. And it just makes them look ancient. So teeth are very important. So wait, wait, let's go back. Teeth. Let's go back. Okay, so because you're also an actress. Okay, you have the documentary. We want everybody to see ballerinaimnot.com. It's coming out. Uh, Ballerina I'm Not. It's coming out on Amazon next week. So you're also an actress now. Since you are a, like, an action star or whatever, you're looking to do, like, action hero? You're going to become, like, a female action hero type, you know, person? I'm definitely open to it. Uh, what 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 would be your and like? If you get a doll, I want one. Oh yeah, he has. Uh, and you I, have to sign it. No, we actually <laughs> sure. like action figures of all the people that have been on our our show. I have about 150 of them. Uh, of because a lot of people who come yeah, on our show have I, action I, figures. I want her doll. He he, well, he has Angelina Jolie. He has a few people we haven't well, had I on know our Angie. show. I know Angie. I know Angie. So it's an honor for me to have a doll of like Angie. We had Fran Drescher, and I got him a Fran Drescher doll. Right. Since we had and Fran, Fran was on was on our show, and I interviewed her. So it's good. And then I'll have a doll of you. But, but let's go back. So, okay, well, let's, like, what kind of, like, let's say you could be in any movie that's ever been made. Like, what movie would you have liked to be in, and who would be your ultimate co-star that you would, like, think would be a lot of fun to work with that you have not been had a chance to work with yet? I would love to be in the Fast Furious, the Fast and Furious series. I'd love to work opposite The Rock. Oh, I love awesome. those. I love, and you'd be good in that because you know why? You could do all that jumping around, killing people shit with your legs. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's what they do in Fast and Furious. They all fly off the walls. They jump. Isn't mm. that where what's his name is? The one I'm crazy about? The guy? Yeah, Jason name? Statham's in oh, it. Oh, that Jason. But not in the first one. Jason I actually did Statham. the costume. Oh. I, did, I did the costume design for Too Fast, Too Furious. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I used to. I, a celebrity clothing designer, and Paul Walker was a really cool guy. So I met Paul Walker and Vin Diesel, but then that was the second one, and all these, Jason Statham and The Rock and everybody, what they came much later. What do you think of Jason Statham? Statham. Statham. I yeah. haven't met him, so I can't make a real educated guess. He's old, um, and he's really old, but he's so good. Star. I guess my only feedback is I don't want to be pigeonholed to just being one thing. Right, so right. if I do an action film, I also want to follow it up with something really dramatic and art housey. Right. I Never in life do I want to be put into a box. So I'd love to do an action film. But I'd like love Charlize do Theron. She does action films everything. and she does love stories and everything. she does everything. We love her too. That's why I picked her. I'm crazy about her. I think she's one of the most beautiful women in Hollywood, if not the most. Well, no, there are some others that are great. But she's, in my book, I, I never miss one of her movies. So The Rock is someone you'd like to act, act opposite then? For he sure. was from Florida, that band when we lived Who's in the Florida. Rock? The Rock. Who's he's, that? Um, he's the guy who was the wrestler guy who does all kinds of movies. He's in all the Fast and Furious movies. He's in all of them. Oh, he's the ugly one that's bald? Yeah, he doesn't like him. Oh, he's not <laughs> He's the one with the big tattoo, the really big one. Yeah, he's yeah, the highest yeah, paid yeah. actor, I think, in Hollywood right now. He's not good um, looking. Jason's much better looking. <laughs> I love Jason. Jason's cute as hell. He loves it. And he doesn't like action. Listen to this, too, because he doesn't like fighting movies, and he doesn't no. like any of that kind of stuff. But the Transporter or any Jason Statham movie where all he does is just beat the shit out of people no, who left and see, right. He loves those movies. Only because it's like what she does. It's not where the arm comes off or the eyeball comes out. That I can't deal with. But if you're just jumping around kicking people, I used to do that when I was young. You know. <laughs> I, came, I came from Brooklyn. You had to jump. Hey. <laughs> you had to kick people in the chin and in the face. Otherwise, you got killed. So, you know, that's okay. But I don't like uh, deliberate gore. If you have to have... He doesn't like, like Saw movies and no, stuff like no, that. No, Or how, how about this movie? Are you ready for this? You're going to blush. Okay. Oh, he doesn't... He can't stand the human centipede. He won't even watch it. Have she probably heard? doesn't even know she what it is. because she's too decent. Have you, have, you, have you any idea what that human caterpillar thing is? Human centipede. I do not. Okay. Don't even ask. Google it when you go home because we won't even talk you, about it. It's a you, horror movie, but it's could, really gross. You, you will vomit for days. It's disgusting. <laughs> oh, I can't watch that. I get nightmares when I can't sleep. Oh, this will Google it just nightmare. so you know what no, it's about. No, no, no. no just it's, Google it. it. Don't do it. it a, a demented mind wrote it, and demented people photographed it, and demented people acted Before it. Before Ron was on the show, I had the director, the writer, Ooh. and all the stars on the show. And good <laughs> thing I wasn't on the show because I would have insulted them so much they would have left the studio. <laughs> <laughs> it's I a hideous it. film. I love all the Fast and Furious films, though. I think they're fabulous. I think they're. I'll like give a you a clue. Fun. A bunch of people are in a line, naked, and one one person's mouth is sewn to one person's rectum, and it goes all along. Yeah. And they pass. And you the, feed the first one, and when it poops, it goes to the I mean, rest it, of the line. Is that, is, is that the most <laughs> revolting shit you ever heard? I mean, really, what kind of demented fucking minds did that? I can't breathe from that stupidity like that. And these idiots love it. They love the film. They say, oh, it's cool. It's cool. What's so cool about it? I'd like to tie your ass to somebody's mouth and see how you like it. Well, That's terrible. To change the subject, I guess. Yes, I'm, yes, like, you're too beautiful for such a subject. A Sharknado kind of film. I don't know why it's so popular, yet it, it's a phenomenon. It's stupid. It's and so that's stupid, why but I it's like fun. It. The first one it, was really good. They got really dumb after that, but the first one was actually yeah. fun, and we had a good time. I, with I it. watch it just to see how stupid they can get. Seriously, we had some of the people on from that too. Yeah, <laughs> and by the way, we have a very lovely friend who you probably know, if I could remember her name. <laughs> the big tall lesbian with the beautiful blonde that she met. Oh, Dot Marie, Dot Marie Jones. Dot you know Marie Jones. Because she was a bodybuilder and a oh, She was a gladiator. She was one of the American gladiators back in the day. Do Dot you know Marie she... Jones. She plays Coach Beast on the Glee TV show. When Glee was on, she was Coach Beast. She's okay, a... I know who she is. I don't know her, but I would love I lo to be. Oh, love her. You would love her if you met her. She's, she's super just, great. She's one of the best in the world. She was in an airport and a blonde stewardess walked by. Gorgeous blonde <laughs> stewardess. And she picked up the stewardess. And, <laughs> and, and they got they're, married. And they're married. They, 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 oh, yeah, they're going to yeah. be in our home in Palm Springs. They're our friends. She, the blondes are so feminine and gorgeous. And the other one is like a killer bulldog. I mean, I love the shit out of Marie. She's fabulous people. The two of them are just probably 
the most beautiful gay couple you ever want to see. Stop what, it. Like, what does your son think about, like, the fact that you, how old is your son? He's five. Uh, he's not, he doesn't quite get the whole wrestling no, thing. No. He doesn't uh, quite get it. Watched, he's watched it. And he's actually really proud. He's like, my mom's so strong. She used to be a wrestler. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. Yeah, that's really cute. Or start to cry because somebody hurt my mom. That would be my thing. <laughs> Don't hurt my mom. <laughs> yeah, but you won. Why? You won a lot, a lot, right? You won. Yeah, you, they... Let's talk about trophies. You have the, the belt, the big wrestler's belt they wear. The, the, yeah, you I have won that? it a couple times. Although a lot of times, to be honest, I was scripted to lose. You were what? I was scripted to lose. People oh, like oh, that's the thing. Loser. Scripted to lose. Yeah, they, they tell you they had they decide who wins ahead oh, of time. I, I would say screw you. I guess I want... I'm a loser. <laughs> yeah, I, lose. I I I betray them. I would win. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do this. Sorry. I know you wouldn't get any more worse. So 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 how long have you not been wrestling then? Ever since I had my son. Um, I wrestled a bit after I had him, but then I've been graduating more into filmmaking. Okay, so five yeah, years. So you... do you miss it at all? I reflect back on my wrestling time quite fondly. I traveled all over. I met a great group of women. Um, there's a lot of adrenaline to it, uh, and I, jo I enjoy performing. I, I wouldn't say I miss it because I really enjoy what I'm doing now, too. It's just yeah. a new chapter. And you've evolved. You know, you kind of evolved into the next step. Uh, from and, that, because you can't let, do that forever. Let me talk to you like an Italian father. You're also 35, and it's what? time. Wait, no, wait a minute. It's time that you think of your future. Mm -hmm. Ten years down the road, you can't do that wrestling. So you best do something else. And I think it's wonderful what you're doing because you're creating another self, one that will support you and your son if you don't get married to some jerk who <laughs> ruin your life. True. True. Happily single. <laughs> Uh, the Ron, I really appreciate that as my new Italian father. But it's That's so right. True. You look at the movie The Wrestler in 2008 with Mickey Rourke. Yes. That is a true story, and I've seen it happen in the wrestling world, well, even though it was fiction, but I've seen that in, in nonfiction. Look at China. Look at um, Sherry Martel, my favorite wrestler in the 80s, and they, they don't have anything other than wrestling, and their lives are cut short, or they really live miserable lives that yes. I would never – want that for myself or anybody and that's one of the through lines in the documentary is to encourage people to never pigeonhole themselves then exactly. keep their dreams and it evolves but go with that and you'll find where you're supposed to be i think so too and china was the most lovely woman you ever want to meet she was very gentle for such a big girl that could kill you in a minute i mean she, no serious she could snap your neck and you're gone she was a muscular i mean what a no man was as big as her i was amazed but Kind and girl-like and sweet. Yeah. I really liked China a lot. Too. I was very upset when I heard she died. The only really wrestler sad. I really knew. I used to be friendly with Roddy Piper um, okay. before he died. Um, but it's. Yeah, but yeah, so there uh, was a wrestler in the 1950s called Gorgeous George. Are you familiar with him? They did a movie on him. He was yes, a bleach, bleach blonde guy who acted like a fairy. And everybody hated him because he was gay. And he called himself Gorgeous George. And he used to wear gold lame shorts and pose like a girl. And when he lost and he was getting beaten up, people just loved it. Beat the bag. Kill that queer. Get that bag. That's terrible. It, well, that's what the 1950s were. What do you think gay was like today? Hello, I'm married. <laughs> I mean, if in 1950 I said, hello, I'm married, you and I would be in the nut house. <laughs> they would have said, gay men, men don't get married, stupid. You're queer. You're crazy. We were considered crazy people, you know. Gay people were considered mentally unbalanced. All right. We've got two minutes, so here's what we need to do. So oh. first of all, I think we should be tweeting to, like, to the... To the I'm Fast and kidding. Furious people, we should, you know, they're 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 they're, uh, they're getting the next one's not coming out for like two years or something. But um, you know, they're doing a spinoff with The Rock and your beloved Jason. Are they really? Yeah. Well, listen, yeah. if you're on if you're on a film with Jason, I want to do your hair. <laughs> okay, Jason. So that's that's the new evolution. Um, the new Hobbs film with no, The Rock I'm, and Jason. I'm, I'm coming on the set. No, to you should totally be in that film. That would be great. But I'm coming on the set to do your hair to meet Jason. No, who's making oh. it? We we start. I have over a million Twitter followers. We can start tweeting to whoever's making oh, it. Tweet it. your name and say we think you should be the love interest in it or be in it or whatever. You should be in we the new it. movie. It's actually The Rock's company with his ex-wife, Danny Garcia. 
Seven Bucks Productions. They're producing it. I could see you in that film. All right, follow me on Twitter. Certainly... We'll, start, we'll tweet it out to everybody and see if we can get you trending to be in the new movie. And you're certainly <laughs> at, athletic enough to do the kicks and the rolls. Oh, we got to go, the... too. It's 450. All right, everybody. Oh. So we want to thank Francesca. Listen, you're coming back again. We're going to we see We want to thank we'll, we'll Francesca Zapatelli for coming on the show. We want to thank October Coast for setting up the interview. Get Ballerina I'm Not. Uh, watch it. It comes out on Amazon. Find out more by going to Ballerina I'm Not. Uh, dot com and follow at Francesca Zappet on Twitter. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank we'll you, stay in my touch. love. You have Thank my you, email sweetheart. and everything, so let me anytime you need anything, let me know. And, and all of the <laughs> best of the best of luck to you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning Bye, in, you guys. I Wasn't love, she fun? I love her. She's so sweet. Imagine she's a wrestler. She's fabulous. I, I, any guy goes on a date with her, if he gets fresh, he's dead. Absolutely. All right, everybody. See you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, chat room. See ya. Thanks, Chad. Bye, everybody. Get laid tonight, you need, you need